Hello and welcome to Kobe Woodworks. I'm Stuart Kobe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to um, use Linux CNC. I've had a, a couple people ask me how to operate the actual Linux C, CNC control program. So um, in this video I'm going to go through the setup, the complete setup of Workpiece, um, how to set that up on the Linux CNC control program, and then how to run a program on it and how to um, set up the tool piece, or sorry, not the tool piece, the work piece on your router. So um, I'm going to throw, go through all that setup, and then I'm going to show you a little more in detail on how to use the Linux CNC control program. So um, we're going to get started right away here. So um, let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the machine on. So we're going to go over here to the computer, and... We're going to open the program down here, Linux CNC. Um, I have it, it's named Asteroid 4th Axis for me. And that's because I have my rotary axis on here. Now to do it. Um, typically it'll just be called either Asteroid or Asteroid 3 Axis. So I'm going to open that. Take a few seconds for it to load. Alright, so here it's up. Uh, you notice Linux CNC G code will come up every time you open it. So now we have it open, we're going to go down to the control box down here, and we're going to switch the master power switch to on, and you'll notice it started up, you can hear everything on. So now that we have the machine on, um, one thing you also want to make check is make sure the fans are blowing on here, because this will get rather hot, we'll make sure that's getting cooled in there. Um, Alright, so now it's on, we're going to hit the master power switch up here, machine power switch, on the program that's going to activate the machine. Um, that's either F2 or you can click it. So um, get that on. Now the machine's on. Next what we've got to do is um, home it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click home all. Notice it's working on homing everything using the limit switches. That's almost done. Um, while this is finishing, I'm going to show you this is my work piece here. I've already got it mounted. It's on the table, screwed down, it's not going to go anywhere. So that's ready. Um, just finished homing. Now it's going to return to the middle. Uh, Z axis is all the way up. Um, the X is right in the middle. Y is right in the middle. So we're set to go. Um, now that's Homed. Homed means it knows where the edges of the machine are. So I can toggle this all the way up and it's going to stop right before it hits. Hmm. It stopped. And it'll do the same thing for the X. It stops on its own. So now it's there. So right now, and that's also the same as for the Z. So right now it's set the X and Y and Z locations for the machine are set where I last left them. So if I go over here, I'm going to go to, I'm going to hit F5, F5, or I'm going to hit the MDI up here, it's manual control, and I'm going to type in here um, G0, that's the program, and then I'm going to do X0, Y0, I'm not going to do the Z. So now I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so the machine just went to its last x, y, zero point. And that appears to be right about there. But I need it zeroed to my piece of wood here. So I'm going to use my um, controller here. And I'm going to manually position it to where I need it. All right, so that's right about where I want it. Now I'm going to go over here, back to the computer, and I'm going to click the X and touch it off. I'm going to click OK. Now it's zeroed to that point, the X is. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the Y. Touch it off. OK. And now it's zeroed to the Y. So I'm going to go up here, click the little P. I'm just going to recenter myself. So now it's back where the XY is set off on. Um, 
So now, when I go back over here and I do the same G, X, 0, Y, 0 command, it's going to go right where it is right now. If I click enter, it doesn't do anything because it's already there. So the Y, now the, now I'm going to do the Z. So um, I'm going to go over here. Um, I'm going to go about... So I'm going to go about to where the middle of my workpiece um, is going to be. So my, my work, the thing that I'm going to do is about this big. So I'm going to go about to the middle of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to slowly toggle it down until the tip of the bit. is just at the tip of the wood and to make that even finer I'm gonna go back over to Linux CNC I'm gonna hit the jog speed I'm gonna take that way down to about 0.6 now I can use the page up page down buttons on my keyboard to bring it up and down in just micro in increments so I'm gonna move that down a little bit alright so now that's good I'm gonna take the jog speed move it back up and I'm going to click Z and touch that off okay so now that's all three axes are set so now I'm going to open my work project one well, my G code um, find the right one here open all right and there it loaded my G code for my project uh, make sure you know which bit you're gonna use um, when I created the G, this G code I made a note of what I'm gonna do what bit I'm using and I did that up here in the file name you see it up there um, it says quarter 90 degree so I'm using a quarter um, quarter inch bit with a 90 degree point on it. Um, so I've got that in the router right now as you'll notice. So that's good. And so now I'm gonna turn, make sure it's on. Make sure my RPMs are set to the correct speed. And then I'm gonna put that about 23,000. And then I'm ready to run my, run my G code, my toolpaths. But first I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna go over to F, um, MDI or just F5. If I just hit F5, I'll go over. And I'm gonna do, again, G0, X0, Y0, and then I'm also gonna do a Z0. So I'm gonna run this, I'm gonna run this command, and it should take it right to the point where I zeroed everything off on. So when I click Enter, is right where I set it off to so that's good so now I'm ready to run my two paths we go back over here or F3 and got my um, thing set up here um, one note is your Z axis when you zero it off make sure you zero it to where you want it zeroed um, in VCarve Pro which is what I use um, it's also going to be the same as in Aspire, any of the vector products. The Z, let's go back over here. The Z can either be set to the top of your workpiece, or it can be set to your table, your router table. Um, uh, I prefer to set it to the top of my workpiece, so it doesn't really matter the thickness on my wood. I just set it to the top of that, and it'll do what I want it on top, especially because I do a lot of 3D work and V um, V carving work, so I want the I want the Z travel to be exact compared to the top of my workpiece. If I set it down here, and my wood happened to be oh, 30 seconds um, smaller or bigger than what it was set to on V carve, then it's going to make that V carve um, when it does the V carving, it's going to be either too fine or too big. So I usually set it to the top of this, and you when you do that, you have to make sure you set it in V carve as that. Um, if you happen to set it to the t in V carve to the top of your workpiece 
and then over here you set your bit to the two paths it's going to jam the bit down into your um into your workpiece because it's thinking that the workpiece is down here when really it's up here so you got to make sure you do what it does if it if you um set v-carve to your work to your workpiece make sure you set your bit to your workpiece if you set v-carve to your um, router table make sure you set the bit to your router table and also make sure you have your workpiece's thickness correct in vcarve or else it's going to mess things up also so i find it easier just to set it off to workpiece you don't have to worry about the thickness of your piece of wood as much and it's easier to set your bit to the top of the workpiece so that's what i've done that's why i um, zeroed it off to and i'm ready to go so everything's set on here Go back over here. Now that my tool pads are all pulled up and everything, everything's zeroed. Everything's zeroed. I just hit play and it will play it. Um, one thing before I hit play is this button over here is your master um, emergency stop. Um, that is hooked up to your, depends on which machine, probiotics machine you have. On my pro probiotics machine, it has the switch down here, and if I hit that, it's going to trigger that emergency stop switch. And now I can't do anything until I unclick my emergency stop switch. And now I'm ready to go again. Um, so that's just one minor detail. If you're fine, it's not doing anything. It probably has to do with the switch on your probiotics machine. It's also called e-stop, just short for emergency stop. Okay, so we're ready to play this. All we got to do now is hit play, and everything should run smoothly. Let's see what this does. All right, so now the toolpath is finished running. Just go ahead and move this away. And see what it does. Worked out perfect. It's a little hard to see right now, but once I finish it, you'll be able to see that really good. So, that worked out good. Um, no problems. Now, just to cut out the profile of this, um, all I've got to do is open the profile toolpath, change the bit out, um, but because I want my toolpath to be the same distance around this where it's supposed to be, when I put my new bit in, all I'm going to do is I'm going to re-zero um, the Z-axis to the tip of that bit. I'm not going to change the Y or the X because I want both of those to be in the same place as it was for um, the V carp here. I want this to be the exact same place. But the Z will have to be changed according to the height of the bit. So that's the only thing I'll have to zero off when I switch the bit. And then all I've got to do is open my new profile toolpath. Yeah, that's the wrong one. Um, of my profile toolpath and it's already set in the XY position where it needs to be to cut out right around the V-carve that I just made. So um, 
it's rather simple once you get the hang of it. Um, like I said, I said before, Linux CNC is not a very user-friendly um, program, so to speak. It's um, it's it's a complicated program, and it takes time to learn how it works. Learns all the little things that are part of it. Um, but it's it's fairly easy once you get it down. Once you know what needs to happen. So that's pretty much it. That's all the basics for Linux CNC. Um, there's not there's a lot of more things to Linux to the Linux CNC, but they're not things you really need to know to get started. Um, but as long as you know how to do what I just showed you, you can run any toolpath you have. Um, it's slightly different for a rotary axis, fourth axis, um, a, a axis, but um, I, I don't have time to show that in here. And since most people do not have a rotary axis, I'm not going to include that with here with um, this video. But that's pretty much that's it for running a toolpath on Linux CNC. Now to shut down the machine, all you've got to do is position the um, the router wherever you want it and then hit the master power switch and close the program and that is it it's as simple as that um, hope you enjoyed hope you you learned something and now you can go run your first toolpath on your new machine um, good luck and I'll see you later